Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and I recently compared the One Touch Idol 3 against the Zen Phone 2, which you can watch right here if you'd like, and the two phones compared very similarly. In fact, they compared so similarly, the major difference between the two centered around performance. So in this video, I thought it might be beneficial for a lot of you guys to see the benchmarks of not only the One Touch Idol 3 or the Zen Phone 2, but the OnePlus One as well since these phones are the three most popular budget smartphones on the market, costing between two and $300 off contract. I will also be putting them through a real world performance test, which I will explain more later on. So the first benchmark application I ran was Geekbench 3, and I made sure there were no running applications in the background so that this comparison remains as fair as possible. Now Geekbench 3 tests the processor with a scoring system that separates single core and multi-core performance. So I know a lot of you guys don't like when I read out the scores out loud since they're right here, but some of you might be listening to just the audio, so bear with me here. The Asus Zenfone 2 received a single core score of 918 and a 2935 multi-core score. The Alcatel One Touch Idol 3 received a single core score of 656 with a multi-core score of 2439. And the OnePlus One received a single core score of 970 and a 3093 multi-core score. So the Zenfone 2 and the OnePlus One are neck and neck, basically identical, while the One Touch Idol 3 is definitely lacking a little bit, especially in the single core performance. The next benchmark I ran was Antutu, which tests the memory performance, the CPU performance, and graphics performance. So a little bit of everything in this app, and it spits out one single score that ranks in among other devices who scored similarly. The Zenfone 2 scored 48,884, right above the Galaxy Note 4, which is pretty impressive. The Idol 3 scored 32,180, putting it right above the HTC One and below the LG G3. And then the OnePlus One received a score of 46,744, putting it right above the HTC One M8. So in this benchmark, the Zenfone 2 beat the OnePlus One, while the Idol 3 didn't score very well comparatively. Now the last benchmark is 3D Mark, which tests primarily the graphics. It's the world's most popular benchmark and it does test the CPU, but I like to run it because it does a really great job testing the GPU. I ran the Ice Storm tests that were recommended for each device. The Zenfone 2 and OnePlus were running the Ice Storm Unlimited test, while the Idol 3 ran the Ice Storm Extreme test. Now the Zenfone 2 features the Power VR G6430 GPU and the Intel Atom Z3580 quad-core processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and it received a score of 20,405. The Idol 3 features the Adreno 405 GPU and a Snapdragon 615 octa-core processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM, and it received a score of 5,508. And the OnePlus One features an Adreno 330 GPU, a Snapdragon 801 quad-core processor with 3 gigabytes of RAM, and it received a score of 19,583. So it's safe to say the performance of the Zenfone 2 and the OnePlus One are almost identical, at least in terms of benchmarks, while the Idol 3 most definitely isn't, and is generally several hundred, or in this benchmark, several thousand points behind. So now it's time for the real world performance test. I kind of adopted the phone buff style of running through a series of applications and timing them using the built-in timer. It's a genius way of testing the speed, and let's be honest, it's just plain old fun. So basically, I started the timer and then opened up a series of applications. I opened up Google Play Music, YouTube, Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, the Gallery app of each smartphone, the Play Store app, and then I opened up the Dialer app, the Stock Messenger app, and the App Drawer. I then opened up Chrome and I navigated to PhoneDog.com and waited for that to completely load until the bar stopped, of course, and then proceeded to open up the Camera app. And then once I went through all of those apps, I hit the timer to see just how long it took. But I just want to say this comparison is really fun and it's a bit unusual because all of these devices have different processors, different graphics cards, and even varying levels of RAM, 2, 3, and 4 gigabytes. So with that said, the Asus Zenfone 2 finished up first in about 55 seconds, the OnePlus One finished up in about 1 minute and 2 seconds, and the Alcatel One Touch Idol 3 finished at 1 minute and 27 seconds. Keep in mind that these tests might be off a little bit by a few points or a few seconds, and will vary slightly each time you run through each test. 
But the Asus Zenfone 2 and the OnePlus One are certainly the two performance champs. They're essentially tied, although the Zenfone 2 does appear to be a hair faster thanks to, I would assume, the 4GB of RAM. But I hope this video helps you decide which smartphone might be best for you. Let me know which smartphone is the best for you in the comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. But as always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will, of course, see you guys in the next one. See ya.